Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Dunn Wisdom Morning Show. I am your host, Melissa P. Dunn, CEO of MD Marketing Network and founder of this Dunn Wisdom Movement. Um, you'll notice I'm in a different location today. I'm actually in Washington, D.C. on City Business, and I did not want to not come on today, um, particularly in light of the senseless, horrific tragedy that happened in Texas yesterday where our babies lost their lives to gun violence. Um, my condolences to the family, to the entire community. And I want us to reach out to our elected officials, particularly our federal and state elected officials and urge them to take action to protect our children from gun violence. Um, today, I have a, a really good show for you today. We're going to be talking about financial abundance. We're going to talk about the rules to this money game and how we can win it. I have two amazing guests, both of whom are, are really amazing servants in the community, both of whom are powerful women um, who have a true heart for service. And additionally, they are financial experts. They know how to play this money game and they are going to teach us how to win. So join me in welcoming my first guest, Michelle. Michelle, welcome to the show. Hey, Vice Mayor Dunn, how are you? I am well, Michelle. Now, girl, you know I can never pronounce your maiden name. So could you give me your full name? Because I always think of you as Michelle Crumb, but I know you have yes. a hyphenated name. So could you pronounce your name properly for me, please? Absolutely. It's Michelle Theresius Crumb. Uh, fantastic, Michelle. And tell me a little bit about yourself and your company. Absolutely. So um, we have our company as Game Changers, Growing, Achieving, Mental Empowerment, which is a nonprofit. And my sole mission and part of that, in addition to the incorporated vision, is teaching financial literacy to all that is open to it, from youth to adults, giving you the keys to the kingdom, as I would say, and winning at the game of money. Um, if equipping you with the tools and the knowledge to empower you to do better financially. Oh, I love it. And you know, Michelle, I'm so grateful to you because for the past year and a half, you have been a, a really amazing partner of mine through my Lauder Hill Shines program. You actually teach the, you not only teach the business credit course, but you always for the last four cohorts donate your time to coach and mentor a lot of Hill business owners who are enrolled in the program. So thank you again for your, your heart of service, girl. <laughs> I am, listen, I am passionate about it. I know um, oftentimes you hear a lot of people say, oh, if I only knew, if I only knew, if I only knew. And I believe we're in a time in this culture and with so much access to Google, you know, it's just, it just takes a little bit of effort for us to know what we only don't know. So give us your credentials a little bit. What makes you a financial expert? Well, I started my financial journey when I worked for a big bank um, for 13 years in leadership, managing that. And then I moved on to um, pursuing my own thing as a financial um, advisor. And I currently hold my um, Series 6 license for investment, um, 63 SIE. So I am well versed with just the banking knowledge of how to manage your everyday to financial planning retirement. And then I believe in about a few more months, I'll have my credentials and actually being a um, financial advisor. Oh, yay. Well, congratulations to that. And I love A, you're a woman and B, you're a Lauder Hill resident and business owner girl. Let's get it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. I want to invite my second guest to the conversation, Ms. Key Robbins. Key is not only a Lauder Hill Shine certified business, um, she's also the chairperson of my Lauder Hill Health and Prosperity Partnership Economic development, our uh, economic stability sub-council. And Ms. Key also 
came in third place in our recent pitch competition with Damon John. So the founder of Doozy App, welcome to the show, Key Robbins. Hey, Key. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. How are you? I am so well. Thank you so much for joining us. It's like a whole mouthful, right? Yeah. <laughs> of, of introducing you. So Key, tell us a little bit about yourself and your company. So um, I am the CEO of Doozy. Doozy is a gamified app that teaches uh, the user how to invest, how to start a business and leadership skills. Um, our app is aimed towards the youth, but it is free for anyone who'd like to learn financial literacy. You'll get the same type of um, skills as if you were to go to Harvard or Yale, but it's free. Oh, I love the word free. And uh, what makes you a financial expert? Well, what makes me a financial expert is that I have, um, in, in my my late 20s and, and early 30s, I started learning what money could do for me. Um, I got a team built around me, which is a team of um, financial professionals. Uh, and they showed me how to use the power of money and how to use money. You know, money is a tool and it could easily be used um, to invest. It could easily be used to start a business. Um, and not only that, uh, money is like, it, it's leverage for a number of things. So with that type of, of skill set and knowledge, it equipped me to be able to build this um, app that is coming out soon. And it also empowered me to know that money is something that should work for me, not that I should work for it. Oh, I love it. And you are absolutely putting your money to work because if memory serves me right, you are a serial entrepreneur uh, with over six businesses. And this app really is just giving other folks, you have a bunch of financial experts working with you. And so mm -hmm. they're financial expertise plus your entrepreneurial skill sets and your skill sets as a producer, you're yeah. bringing it all together, yes? Yes, tying it all in. You know, even with me um, in the background of a producer, with this app being gamified, it's allowing me to give it um, some creativity within the way that the user is going to see and uh, what the app looks like and be put, it's gonna be like a similar, they're gonna be put in real life situations. So they're gonna know um, when to hire, when to fire. They're going to know uh, if something outside of the business, their personal life is going to affect their business. So all these real life situations is going to empower them and equip them to be successful with, with um, what they wanna do in life, whether it's own a business, whether it's have leadership skills to, be a top um, in that C-suite of the Fortune 500, or if it's also just, hey, I want to invest in the stock market. You know, we do have that. Um, we have a have a section in the app where they're going to be taught how to use the stock market, how to do option trading. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. So, Michelle, come back into this conversation, girl. So basically, the bottom line is money is a game, right? And yes. I have to tell you, it brings for a lot of people, the lack of money brings like some real anxiety. It does. It does. And I can say the, the number one thing I see with people and the anxiety is the fact that they don't know. Right. So the number one thing when I sit with anybody and when we start a coaching session is we don't look at anything else besides them collecting their receipts for one whole month, 30, 31 days collecting their receipts. And then we look at where is our money going? You know, because if you ask the majority of people, they don't know where their money is going. They know the check comes in. They have automatic draws half the time it's the subscriptions so the first thing we want to do is identify the root once you know what the root cause is you can work through those things to help diminish that anxiety to even give you some sense of light of things you can either stop you know um cut down cut back on but absolutely if you're going to have anxiety over your finances it's going to stay there until you identify what the root is 
I, I agree with that. And you know, I have to say that that used to be me a while back, right? I remember in like the 2010 starting to read, you remember that book, um, Money, what, uh, shoot, by E. Harvey, what's his name? Help me out. The one that talks about, I'm a money magnet. Oh, um, yes. 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 So I remember reading that book in 2010 and learning about your money blueprint and really kind of going back and examine like what some of my thoughts were about money and when I got it in my head that I wasn't good at managing my finance. And I traced it back to like being in second grade and my grandmother giving me my lunch money. And instead of buying lunch, I would buy like candy and then not eat lunch. You know what I mean? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so what 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 do you guys tell people like that who are struggling with like this money blueprint that doesn't support them anymore? Well, it's a mindset. You you got to be in the you have to change your mindset in the way you look at money. You know, money is something that can take you very far. So you have to be able to change or be open to what are those changes you can make in your life and be open to understanding what money can do for you. You know, you, you don't always, like I said earlier, don't always want to uh, be the one who works for money. You want to be, you want your money to work for you. So once you change your mindset and have an open mind of what the power of money can do for you, I feel like you'll get the, the help you need within a financial advisor like Michelle. And, you know, you'll, you'll talk to them, you'll tell them what your needs are, and you'll be more equipped and more empowered within the financial space. You know, with our app, we teach um, we teach individuals how to invest in the stock market. You know, so coming with a beginner's mindset will allow you to learn the skills you need for getting into the stock market and being successful at it. And I will I will also mention is that. Stop listening to people that are not in a better position than you are. Oh, wait. Right? Again. Say that again, Michelle. Stop listening to people that are not in a better position than you are. I mean, that comes down to the the, the ignorance of credit. Mm -hmm. You know, oh, you don't need credit or credit's no good. That comes to the ignorance of not truly having a savings account for a rainy day you know let's live our best lives those are the people like that you don't want to surround yourself at because they're no better and they won't be any better than you are you know you want to surround yourself with people that are doing it doing it at a better level bigger level than you are and take keys and actions from them oh i love that i love that and you know those are two really powerful advice First key, you saying that, you know, you got to switch your mindset and really think of it as a beginner and go for it. And then two, surround yourself with people that are where you're trying to get to. Yes. 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 Listen, so, I, I've learned a little while ago, the pain of discipline is far better than the pain of regret. Oh, say that again. The pain of discipline is far better than the pain of regret. And you know what? I, I tell my clients all the time that success is really an inside out job, right? And so for me in growing my business and really turning around my financial situation, I had to start with my mindset, as you said, um, Key. And in addition to that, I had to um, really then after shifting the mindset, take the simple step-by-step -step action in order to grow my business and to grow my personal um, network. And it's it's not easy and I'm still going through the process. Yeah, it, it never will be easy, but it will be rewarding. You know, um, like there's, we, we have called um, something that we like to do called a house hack, you know, where we teach people how to um, understand buying a multifamily. You know, and a multifamily is one to four doors. You know, anything more than one to four doors is considered commercial by FHA and you would have to get a convention loan. You know, so people don't understand that that is something that can build financial wealth and it can also help you uh, reduce your living expenses. So, you know, 
you let's say you find a, a property that is has one to four doors it's a hundred thousand dollars you know you have an fha loan where it's 3.5 percent down it's like 3500 you know plus the closing cost which would be about 1500 closing costs are roughly like 1.5 percent um and the owner could live in one unit and have the tenants paying the mortgage for them. So then in actuality, they're living rent free free and they're building equity. You know, so that is that's a start of learning how to let your money work for you. All right. So so uh you just really laid out one of the things that's on my bucket list. <laughs> You just laid out one of the one of the things that's on my bucket list. That's exactly one of the things that I would love to do. So that means that I need to get the doozy app so that I can learn how to do it. <laughs> now is the time. Like you're going to learn so much and you're going to feel empowered. And that's what we want for the community. You know, that's why we're so heavily involved. We want to build the community up and we want them to understand what the power of money can do for them, what this game of money can do for them, you know? Yeah. So Michelle, I know you, you do a lot of financial coaching with individuals and you've certainly done a lot of financial coaching with the business owners in my Lottie Hill Shines program. Like what, if you were to give us like three rules, what would they be? And I want you to think about your three rules too, um, Key. Three rules. Um, and these are things I practice myself is, I create a, and I have a standing date night with my finances, period. That way I'm always alert. I'm always aware of what's going on with it. Two, I, um, I don't panic at the sound of what's going on when they ring the bell in the stock market at the end of the day. And I know Key might, you know, can agree with this is that um, if you are on the younger side and not necessarily looking to retire in the next few years, it's going to go up and down and I ignore it and I don't panic and pull my money out because the greater good is that the longer I keep it, the more I'm able to see it grow and to do an early retirement. And the third thing is that um, if it doesn't work this month, such as my budgeting or if I had a rough month, I don't give up. I stay in the game and I just make it work for me the next month or the next month until I get it right. So those are the three things as that I live by that I give anybody, you know, the advice to do is to stay in the game. Don't panic and do not be ashamed to sit down and face the truth of where you're at. Okay, those are really good advice that so make a date night with your money, stay in the game. And, and don't panic. I love that. Uh, I need to do the date night thing with my money for sure. <laughs> All right. What about you, Key? What are your three game? What are your three rules to this money game? So for me, um, I like to come with a beginner's mindset. You know, coming with a beginner's mindset has actually um, equipped me and empowered me with what I need to understand how to use money. Um, I would also um, find resources. And those resources could be a financial planner. Those resources could be a financial app. Those resources could be um, any licensed professional that professional that understands how to build wealth. Um, and I would also say, be kind to yourself because you never know. Um, I, I understand the fears that everyone has of money, but once you get into the game, you understand it. You know, you're going to be so much further than which were what you were. So definitely be kind to yourself and don't beat yourself up. Oh, I love that. It's all a process, right? Yes. Um, and and so I love those six rules, really concrete things that we can practice. So I, let me tell you what my three rules are, and they are in no way original. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's the, the rules that I'm about to share are rules that I learned through my own research, rules that I learned because I am on a journey to become a multimillionaire philanthropist who really invests in people and invest in communities so that we can all win together, right? Mm -hmm. And so I had a lot of um, mindset situations that I needed to um, release in order for me to even get to the stage in my business now where I'm at, right? And the thing that 
there are three things that really, really created a huge shift in my money mindset. The first one was when I read um, Ramit Sati's book about um, I Will Teach You To Be Rich. You guys, Are you guys familiar with Ramit? Mm -hmm. He is yeah. so amazing. I love his book. And um, he talks about defining your rich life. Like, what does that look like? Mm -hmm. And when I read his philosophy, it really released me in a lot of ways because, I mean, you guys know I drive a beat up car that's already paid for that. It's like it costs me like ninety nine dollars a month for insurance and it looks like it's on its last leg. But I drive the car because I love to travel. And I drive the car because I dream about owning a really beautiful home. So with the rich life idea that Ramit has, it's like you cut in the areas that are not really important to you. And then the areas that you love that really enrich your life, then you spend in those areas. And I think for me, that released me a lot from worry and anxiety. But additionally, he talks about having a system where you you know like put everything on autopilot and quite frankly i'm still working the system but at least now i'm i, I feel a level of um willingness mm -hmm. and i'm kind of i used to be what they call a turtle <laughs> <laughs> so my, my head is sticking out a little bit more and and so that really really supported me and then the other thing that really supported me is this whole abundance infusion practice that I'm doing now that I'm I'm taking the women in my manifest 90 program through um, which basically is a practice on working on your mindset and really being very clear about where the source of your abundance comes from and for me money is not the source of my abundance the physical tangible money the source of my abundance for me is my creator is God right and and it's the infinite mind the infinite divine mind that's inside of me that's the source of my of my of my abundance so if like COVID when I lost practically every single one of my clients and I had to lay people off in my business if I was counting on the physical bit of money as a source of my abundance and prosperity, like a lot of other people, I would have perhaps gone crazy, yeah. right? Because of the stress of COVID. But instead, I'm really clear that my abundance come from, from God, my abundance come from inside of me. And so I'm making it back. Mm -hmm. Nobody can take it away. So those are two rules that I'm learning to live by right now. And then the third one, which is kind of your rule too, uh, Michelle, is to just pay attention and make a date night with my money. That part is a little bit more challenging, but I'm ready. I'm up for it. Stay the course. Yeah. <laughs> Stay the course. Stay the course. Stay the course. So let me ask you, I know the app um, key is really for young people mm -hmm. as your target audience. Why young people? Why is it so important for kids to learn about money? because they're not getting that at home. You know, um, we aren't teaching our babies uh, the, the emphasis of what money is or let alone the responsibilities of money. You know, we're not teaching them that, uh, and they're, they're not getting it in the school system either, you know, that money can be used as a tool to take you far. You know, um, we felt like it was a good time uh, for, young young children between the ages of 13 and 18 to learn the ins and outs of the stock market so that you know when they do turn 18 they're golden they can start in the stock market and they can be ready set go you know and then not only that we wanted them to understand how to run a business you know and how to how to how to start the business we want them to be equipped with those tools so that they can be successful and not have to work for anyone you know, they could be, they could work for themselves and they can also provide, um, provide a, a stable income for their families. You know, um, we see a lot of the families in our, in our community live in paycheck to paycheck. Um, and you know, it's, it's, it's taken a toll on people, you know, um, it's, it's a stress and we want to help alleviate that. And we also want to show young boys and girls that, 
you know, they can be leaders. They can be um, in the C-suite. You know, even though there's there's right now there's there's less than one percent of us that are in that C-suite. So you know, we want to encourage them that they can get there and that they can stay there. All right. So um, education, financial empowerment through education entrepreneurship and leadership, right? Those are ways to build generational wealth and create a pipeline to prosperity for our young people, basically is what you're saying. Yes. Yeah. I we love want that. our people to, to feel empowered and equipped. You know, we want them to have a skill set that is going to be tangible for them and take them very far. I love it. I love it. And Michelle, I, I, you know, we have a large, um, retirement community in the city of Lauderdale, Hill, a really growing retirement community. If someone is watching and they're closing retirement age, is there is there anything that they should be paying attention to right now? Um, yes. How to make or minimize the tax liability in retirement. Um, how to diminish debt as much as possible. So if you're nearing that age, what is it going to take to maybe pay off your mortgage? So it's one less bill that you have, because when you get into retirement, you're on a fixed income. And if you didn't do the right things or start early enough, it creates a struggle and or maybe a later retirement or a part-time job during retirement. I will say that um, for those that are out there watching, um, The Power of Zero is a very phenomenal book that talks about that. And it talks about how to kind of have a zero tax liability efficiency in retirement. So the power of zero, um, I would recommend any and everybody to grab at any age because the older year you start, the better it will be when you get to that point. <clears throat> Oh, you know, I love a good book recommendation. So y'all heard you y'all heard about two books in this show today. Uh, Ramit Sati's I Will Teach You to Be Rich and then The Power of Zero. Who's the author? Do you know? You remember? Give me just one second. I'm going to grab it it's right here on my shelf. Oh, I love it. She's got the book ready to go. <laughs> yes. So it's David McKnight. David McKnight. This is what it looks like. Okay. The power of zero. All right. So you have two reading, two reading assignments, audience. Very Listen. simple read. <laughs> if you guys have any questions for our money experts today, um, please do be a part of the conversation. Type, type them in the chat um, so that you can interact with us. Um, so, ladies, what is the what's what's your call to action here? What would you like? Um, other than, you know, follow those three rules that we each gave and also to perhaps read one or two of those books. Um, what, what, what would you like the audience to take away from this conversation? Um, key and how can they get in touch with you? Okay. Okay. So, um, I would like the audience to take away, um, having a beginner's mindset you know, opening your mind to the endless possibilities of what your money can do for you. And um, stay tuned for Doozy. Do the Doozy app will be out soon. Um, and I would say you could go to our website, which is www.doozeeapp.com uh, um, to sign up for our newsletter so that you can be the first to know when the app is slated to hit the market. And if you have any children between the ages of 13 and 18, um, we would love to have them beta test the app. So they can contact us via our website, which is www.doozeeapp.com. All right, fantastic. What about you, Michelle? Um, as I stated before, the the pain of regret is far greater than the pain of discipline. Um, with the pain of discipline comes a new mindset, comes new actions that you do and old things you leave behind versus just living in regret. So start today, um, give a call, DM me for financial advice, coaching. You can find my information down on the bottom of the screen. And keep in mind that 
Nothing that you can possibly say or do is embarrassing. It's staying in the same situation and complaining about it. Um, surround yourself with people that know more than you and use the resources that are around to you. Finally, I would say to all parents, don't leave your kids out. You know, Doozy, as we hear, is going to be a phenomenal app once it's released. But parents, most times when I do financial literacy with kids, they have no idea about what's going on in the household, what it takes to manage their own household, the light bill, the mortgage, rent. So include them. The earlier they know these things, the better it can be. And the earlier they can change their mindset on maybe the latest sneakers or so forth and want to, you know, start up with the, the stock apps and different things of the sort. So include the kids in your financial journey. Oh, I love it. And and by the way, so the number that's at the screen, you can text Michelle and she's offering a free 30 minute consultation for y'all. Ladies, thank you so much for joining me today for this conversation um, and teaching us your rules for winning in this money game. Yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me. We are still offering the opportunity for you to participate in our free seven day abundance infusion practice. Um, so go ahead. Um, we have it in the in the caption of this show. Download it, sign up, and let's really work on uh, the inner game of winning at money. Thank you for joining me. And I'll be back on the show next week, Wednesday at 9 a.m., where I will be teaching you something special that's going to set you up to win not only in life, but also in business. Remember, be kind and loving to yourself today. You deserve it.